Congrats, Chair Judge's fellow Toastmasters. I was the FedEx delivery guy who delivered the cloth to her. <laughs> and what a wonderful story she has been for us today. Her story was remarkable, rejuvenating, and her message resounding. What an exciting and engaging story she had got for us today. And if you want to know why she had managed to tailor such a beautiful story, let me share with you the secrets. The first secret is her use of rhetorical devices. Her story was peppered with lots of devices, for example, onomatopoeia. Okay, snip, 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 da 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 da. She used similes as big as an elephant, yeah, as soft as silk. And she used power of free, the rhymes. Here, there, everywhere. These are the basic tools to create a beautiful piece of cloth weave into a story, masterful story. Next, she used rhetorical questions that make sure that she engages you all the time. Okay, rhetorical questions, and finally, her use of props. Her use of props add a different dimension to the entire speech, making the speech fresh every time she speaks about what is to happen next. So, wonderful storytelling techniques. Now, to bring your speech up to the next level, or to tailor and weave a more beautiful story, let me share with you some tricks. The first trick is to engage the audience in the decision-making process. So instead of asking them, what do you think I will make next? Ask them, oh, should I make a vest or a pants? You create a tension, a dilemma, and let the audience decide for you. And whichever direction the audience chooses, you, you come up with the story and continue from there. In that way, the audience gets engaged at a deeper level because they are now you. They are now playing the role of storyteller. This is what we call the crossroad technique, used in gameplay and now used in speeches. The second technique that you can use is to create climax. Instead of just telling us, oh, my shirt is worn off, okay, which becomes very predictable, tell the audience that you went to the park and the child put your shirt and now it is torn. <laughs> create some form of climax along the way so that the audience can feel the heart pain and feel your difficulty along the way as you try to make a new piece of cloth. Third, expand the moral of the story. Now, to me, the moral of the story is about giving something a new lease of life. So expand it. Tell the audience, do you give your old things a new lease of life? Do you give old friendships a new lease of life? Do you rekindle old passions and give it a new lease of life? That will enrapture the audience and give your story a deeper meaning. So now, ladies and gentlemen, and especially to you, our beautiful seamstress, I will be delivering you another piece of cloth. And I'm sure if you add climax, you create tension, engage the audience in the decision-making process, and expand the moral of the story, your next piece of cloth will be a grand masterpiece.